Hello guys, in this video, I'd love to help you understand the meaning, purpose, and usage of the component annotation in Spring Framework with me, Nam Ha Ming from Code Java.net. You know, the component annotation is a class level annotation. That means it can be used at class level only. And the semantic purpose of using the component annotation is to indicate that the annotated class has a component. And you know, a component is any class that encapsulates some logics or states of the application. And the technical purpose of using the component annotation is that the annotated class will be auto-detected through class path scanning by Spring Framework. And Spring will create an instance of the class which is then managed in the application context. The instance is called managed bin. And the managed bin will be eligible for dependency injection, such as via auto wire field or constructor injection. Okay, let me show you a quick example. You see, we have a very simple class here, common helper, that is annotated with the component annotation and then we can use uh, auto uh, the this component in another component such as in a controller like this via auto wire field you see and let me show you the coding in action in a java spring project here you can see we have the common helper class and we mark the class as the component it has it implements a method get sign name that returns a string called java.net and in a controller class here we uh, can uh, use the auto wire annotation to let Supreme framework uh, inject an instance inject the managed bin of the common helper in the application context into this uh, controller and you can see we use the helper uh, method get sign name here and another example here I used uh, the, the application context here to get the bin name common helper you see by default the name is common helper and invoke is method get sign name and let me run this uh, Java application Okay, you see it prints sign name called java.net here. That means a managed bin with the given name common helper was found in the application context. Then it uh, was able to invoke the method get sign name. And uh, you can specify uh, uh, another name uh, for the component by uh, specify the name here in the annotation uh, for example last helper then in this code i need to change the name to helper to be able to get the managed bin with the name helper and run the application again Okay, you see it prints sign name code java.net. If uh, I keep the old name, I will got an error. Here you see. I got the error. No such bin definition exception. No bin name common helper available. Okay, so that's a very simple example of component annotation in Spring Framework. And another technical reason of using the component annotation is uh, suppose that you create a utility or helper class that you see some managed bins in the application context. So using the component annotation allows a dependency injection takes place in the annotated class via auto wire fields. Let me show you a real life code example in a Java uh, Spring Boot project. You see, I have 
a hyper class controller helper and because this helper class uh, needs uh, to use customer service uh, which is a managed bin in the application context this class acts like a utility or helper class with the method here so by using the component annotation here I can use the auto y annotation to let Supreme Framework uh, inject the managed bin customer service into uh, the bin of this controller helper and this is where the controller helper is used in shopping cart controller controller helper via auto wire field here you see controller helper invoke is method get authenticated customer and let me show you as a code example where the component annotation is used okay so here you can see I have a filter class here and I need to use the component annotation so Supreme Framework uh, will be able to uh, uh, identify that this is a filter and uh, put the filter into its filter chain okay another example in uh, security here yeah, I have a authentication handler database login success handler and I use the component annotation here because uh, this uh, handler uh, needs to use the managed bin customer service via auto wire field here and you see where this component is used in the security configuration class uh, database login success handler here auto wire here and it is used here success handler all right so that you have learned uh, the meaning the purpose and uses of component annotation in spring framework i hope you found this uh, video helpful Please subscribe to my channel, like, comment, and share this video. Thanks for watching.